Hello. So, I'm still in John's room. My light bulb still hasn't been magically replaced by someone who wants to come do things for me, so I'm going to have to do it myself soon. It's really frustrating. Um, uh, today was interesting. Today I had, a, had, a, had an interesting story. I was in my booth. And uh, my booth, my, my little uh, little box of love and blue tack that I sit in most days while selling tickets to people. And these, there, this guy came up, and uh, he's a a large man. I don't I don't mean fat. I'm not being nasty. He's a beefcake. He's a beefcake. He's like a like a rugby player attached to a cow. He's a big, strong man. And he goes, poo, poo, poo. cloak, cloak, cloak. Hello. Wait a minute. Let me get into character. Back, shit, back, gun. Hey, guys, good eye. Hey, yes. Pardon me, you do, you do what? You like my what? You someone said, pardon me, so he goes, Oh, are you waiting for that? Yeah, you know! Like, what's going on? So he points at me and he keeps pointing at me. He goes, Oh, and the way he did, and I was like, And then his mate Jimbo comes, and Jimbo is massive. Jimbo is fucking big. He's, he's like, as big as this big cow man, but let's call him oversized sheep man. So he's like a man with an oversized sheep attached to him. He goes, <laughs> they point to me too. And I realised what he said. I was wearing a shirt. I was wearing a shirt. And he's pointing at my chest there. And he says, uh, he says, oh, he, he meant nice wig. Nice chest wig. And he goes, it's just like, you know, it's fucking just like Jimbo's. Have a look at Jimbo's. So Jimbo, <laughs> plods up. Looks at me and goes, this is where it gets awkward. This is where I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. What do you, I mean, if if I saw someone with one leg, I'm not going to go. Oh, mate, I've got someone else. I don't mind someone else with one leg. You can be best buddies, best buddies. If I if I see someone with a deformed hand, I'm not going to go. I know. I've seen people with deformed hands on TV. You get on great. You just don't do it. I'm not going to go to a tour girl. You really thought what if I had a problem with it? What if me being hairy was was the thing that's going to make me kill myself? I mean, it's not. I really don't care. But what if it was? You can't just bring up the way people look. It doesn't work like that. But yeah, this guy didn't fuck. He was like, oh, whatever. Bring me the You bring me the so I was standing there, uh, uh, a little bit awkward, and uh, and uh, I think, brain, come on, brain, help me, help me, brain. There's two big guys, and I'm sure I can think my way out of this. And it, I go, I can't believe it. I went, oh yeah, you should see my ass. What am I doing? There's, these guys are huge. I'm saying you should see my ass. I'm implying that I have a hairy bum. Why do they care? They don't care. These, they're, they're not people who could take gay jokes. They're not. Uh, they don't want to see my... So I'm, I'm saying that this, this, this big second sheep man's face drops and he, and he looks at me like... And I go... Uh, don't kill me. And he's... Mm. And I'm going, okay. Uh, get out of this one. Uh, so I said... It's like a shag pile carpet. Oh, I even is a shag pile carpet. I've never seen one. I don't know what that means. I just know it's a thing. And... For some reason, my brain came out with a shag pile carpet. My bum, my hairy bum is shag pile carpet. I've said to two huge, gigantic men that I have a hairy bum, and I've included the word shag. This this isn't good, and it wasn't a good thing. I didn't have fun, and I don't want to do it again. So hopefully I'll never see them again. It ended really awkwardly. It ended with uh, uh, me going... <laughs> Just joke, maybe a joke, joke, joke. And he went, <laughs> and trotted off. And I, I don't like this. I didn't like it. I wasn't having fun. And I, I yeah. Hmm.